I answer that the existence of God can be proved in five ways. The first and more manifest way is the argument from motion. It is certain and evident to our senses that in the world some things are in motion. Now, whatever is in motion is put in motion by another, for nothing can be in motion except it is in potentiality to that towards which it is in motion. Whereas a thing moves inasmuch as it is in act. For motion is nothing else than the reduction of something from potentiality to actuality. But nothing can be reduced from potentiality to actuality except by something in a state of actuality. Thus that which is actually hot, as fire, makes wood, which is potentially hot, to be actually hot and thereby moves and changes it. Now it is not possible that the same thing should be at once in actuality and potentiality in the same respect, but only in different respects. For what is actually hot cannot simultaneously be potentially hot, but it is simultaneously potentially cold. It is therefore impossible that in the same respect and in the same way a thing should be both mover and moved, that is, that it should move itself. Therefore, whatever is in motion must be put in motion by another. If that by which it is put in motion be itself put in motion, then this also must needs be put in motion by another, and that by another again. But this cannot go on to infinity, because then there would be no first mover and consequently no other mover, seeing that subsequent movers move only inasmuch as they are put in motion by the first mover, as the staff moves only because it is put in motion by the hand. Therefore, it is necessary to arrive at a first mover put in motion by no other, and this everyone understands to be God. If that by which it is put in motion be itself put in motion, then this also must needs be put in motion by another, and that by another again. But this cannot go on to infinity, because then there would be no first mover. Summa Theologica, Pars Prima, Initial Questions, by St. Thomas Aquinas, translated by Fathers of the English Dominican Province, Prologue. Because the master of Catholic truth ought not only to teach the proficient, but also to instruct beginners, according to the Apostle, as unto little ones in Christ, I gave you milk to drink, not meat. We purpose in this book to treat of whatever belongs to the Christian religion in such a way as may tend to the instruction of beginners.